女士们、先生们，晚上好！这边另一位医生先生们，欢迎大家光临第五届杰出华商颁奖暨新年庆祝晚宴。让我们大家以热烈的掌声，对我们各位来宾的光临表示热烈的欢迎。Is getting bigger and bigger, and it has become a tradition of this community for people to come here every year to hear success stories. You know, not long ago, the Fraser Institute issued a report which claims that new immigrants like us are not. Economically successful in Canada, so we are dragging down Canadian living standards. Is that true? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know what they are talking about. They better come here to see, to learn some truths. They should come here to this gala to see for themselves. How we are doing in terms of economic success? How we are contributing to the Canadian economy? It's also worth mentioning that we have some of our own fellow new immigrants who are negative about everything. They constantly complain about something. They don't believe. There are opportunities in Canada. They always discourage others by telling them, "You can never become successful in Canada." Well, to these negative people, I say to them, "Come to this gala and see and find out by yourself how many of us have actually become successful." Bonjour, <laughs> and in Chinese, "Dajia hao." <laughs> I was very pleased to see that we had the two national anthems at the beginning, Canada and China, because, as you all know, Can Canadian people and Chinese people are very good friends. And in Chinese, China Tarin her Chongguo Rin she Hun Hao Pen Yong. I want to uh, also uh, just uh, take a moment to remind everybody that this, of course, has been a, an extraordinarily difficult year in, in our country, and uh, 
As difficult as it, as, as it has been, uh, it is uh, the, the people in this room who have helped ensure that Canada has a bright future moving forward. So on behalf of, uh, of Stephen Harper, uh, the Prime Minister Stephen Harper, I want to congratulate you for everything that you have done to help build this community. I am extraordinarily proud to represent such a diverse community, one of the most diverse communities in all of Canada, and I'm extraordinarily proud of all the work that you have done to make this, this country and this city the most beautiful place in which to live, work. Respected officials from three tiers of governments, Mr. Hu San and Zhong Hua San Hui, the Governor, On behalf of the Council General of the People's Republic of China in Toronto, I am delighted to extend our warm greetings to everyone attending the fifth Chinese Business Excellence Award and New Year's Celebration Gala hosted by the Chinese Business Chamber of Canada. In the past years, the Chinese Business Chamber of Canada has contributed significantly to the local economic growth and community harmony in Toronto and has been playing an important role in promoting friendly exchanges and uh, cooperation between China and Canada. I appreciate the efforts and contributions made by CBCC and awards winners. I wish the Chinese New Year Gala a great success and believe that in the years to, of Tiger, the Chinese Business Chamber of, Cam of Canada will continue to make even greater achievements. Behind the Premier, Dr. McKinsey and the Government of Ontario, I want to bring you warmest greeting and wish you two happy new year. The one that is past and the one that is coming. As Canada's most international bank, Scotia Bank operates in more than 50 countries in the world and services customers in 90 different languages. As we all know, today, there are more than 1.2 million Chinese living in Canada. Most of them are first-generation immigrants from mainland China. They came to this new country, they work hard, and they thrive to make contributions to this great country and its multiculturalism. Oh, thank you.